So if you have one of these Hoover wind tunnel vacuums, or really any other vacuum, especially one that you can see the roller brush, and it's doing this, this doesn't seem like the roller brush is moving a lot fast. This is one of the main reasons it can cause that. First thing you want to do, obviously, is unplug your machine. Flip it over onto its side. And I always lean it back like that. And then on some of these, this one's actually easier to do than any other normal Hoover. Pull these tabs back. And this one up here. Lift all those back and pull your skid plate off. Some of the other ones that Hoover has made and other brands have made, you actually have to remove a whole bunch of screws to get the skid plate off. This one, no tools are required. And so I can already tell you guys what's wrong with it. The belt itself looks really, really worn. So we'll go ahead and pull it out just like that. And you can see your belt. Now to remove it, just kind of loop it around like that with both sides and then just pull it back and off. Comes right out. And yeah, the belt is definitely worn and it was very likely slipping because when it starts doing that, that means the belt is starting to burn up. So we'll go ahead and replace this. And so here we have a brand new belt. Make sure they're the same size, of course. But you guys can definitely see the difference with the new one versus the old one. And off camera, I just verified that they are both, in fact, the same length. So let's go ahead and throw this new one on, which I got from Lowe's. So basically what you do is you just grab the end like this. See your motor shaft in there. Just kind of fish it in and loop it on. Then you grab your brush roll, stick that right through. And then just slip the two ends of your brush roll back into the vacuum cleaner. And because it is a brand new belt, there is a little bit of tension on this side because that's where the belt is. But just go ahead and with the other side, just slide it back on and in place. And then just roll it a few times to make sure everything's kosher. If you happen to install it and it's not even, it'll actually even itself out. Just like that. So now just throw your skid plate back on. Throw that one down. Watch these two back up. And there you have it. So let's plug it in and try it out. And so now with the new belt installed, it's also plugged in. Turn it on and try it out. Oh yeah, that's a hell of a difference. There you go. So if you have a vacuum that's acting strangely like that, check with your belt first.